One of my favourite places is a place called Dalian and the Dalian Estuary. This lovely town is on the river between the beach and Kujer's lake. So the town revolves around boats. It's dominated by the magnificent Lycian rock tombs which overlook the town and are on every poster about Dalian. Along with its diverse wildlife and fine sandy beach, Dalyan is another jewel of Turkey. And getting to the beach is the best part of being in Dalyan. is Tuzu Beach, which is actually the mouth of the Dalian estuary. It's beautiful fine sand and probably one of the best beaches in the whole of Turkey. It's also one of the beaches where the kareta kareta, the beautiful big turtles, come to lay their eggs. So it's very well protected and it's also kept very clean. Amazing beach, and it's uh, it's government controlled as well. So prices at the bar are pretty cheap too. The turtles come and lay their eggs here, and there's little frames put over the top of the eggs every every time they lay them. But this beach wasn't always protected. In 1987, with German funds, developers started building a hotel here, which would have destroyed the fragile habitat for the turtles. Luckily, a woman called June Heimhoff, the Turks call her Captain June now, an environmentalist together with others, including David Bellamy, launched a campaign to stop it. Greenpeace and the World Wildlife Fund also got involved and eventually, after years of campaigning, the Turkish government granted the beach environmental protection status. Captain June, who is now in her 90s, has spent her whole life campaigning for the turtles. In 2009, she became a Turkish citizen and she still lives here in Dalian. She now has a sanctuary for the turtles, where the original hotel was partly built and then demolished. She's made several films about her life and also there's a book called Captain June and the Turtles, which you can get on Amazon. I'm in the Dalian Sea Turtle uh, Research, Rescue and Rehabilitation Centre, which is at the end of the beach, the opposite end to what most tourists go. And this place is amazing, it's um, mostly paid for by people's contributions so we're um, hoping that lots of people visit here. Any injured turtles are brought here. They sustain various injuries including boat propellers, fishing hooks and line, 
and from eating plastic rubbish. I asked Phyllis, one of the volunteers, about the rubbish. She said the turtles eat jellyfish, but unfortunately plastic bags and containers look similar in the sea, and they eat them, sometimes choke and drown. So please, don't throw rubbish in the sea and rivers. <laughs> yeah, visit the centre and leave a contribution. That's how it survives. <laughs> this is Osman, this is our guide today. He's our, he's our boat driver. He's taken us all around the Dalian Lake. So anyway, if you get a chance to go with Osman, he's a great guide. Come here. This private boat we hired today for 150 lira, which is about 30 pounds. And uh, we've been all over the reeds. And there's not just the logger-headed turtles here. There's all types of turtles and terrapins, along with a multitude of other wildlife. It's an absolutely amazing place. Osman's our guide today. He's a lovely chap. And he showed us so many things that we wouldn't see on the public boat. So enjoy a private boat trip, it's much more fun. Dalian wouldn't be complete without visiting the ancient ruins of Karnos. Dalian Town has developed into a quaint little resort with quirky cafes and interesting people.
Of course, if you want to spend a night or two here, you can enjoy the lovely riverside restaurants. There's hotels, luxury apartments, and guest houses to suit everybody's pocket. We stayed in the Del Yando Hotel. A little gem of a place, only a stone's throw from the river. And close to the nightlife, which is surprisingly lively. The tour guides have always told us that part of the film The African Queen was filmed here in 1951 that starred Humphrey Bogart and Catherine Hepburn. Unfortunately, I've found no evidence that this actually happened. Whether this story is true or not, Dalian really is an amazing place.